Prince William and Harry are set to see each other for just the second time since Harry and Meghan's reveal all interview with Oprah Winfrey. Thursday marks what would have been Princess Diana's 60th birthday, with a statue of the late princess set to be revealed outside Kensington Palace. Journalist and former political advisor, Aisha Hazarika, told CBS News that the royal family are missing the star power that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle bring as William and Kate are seeing more and more exposure. She said, There's a lot of younger people, a lot of people in black and Asian communities, that look at that. They took that very, very personally. They felt really ashamed of the royal family and quite embarrassed about Britain. She also added, William and Kate are really being pushed to the fore in terms of publicity, particularly Kate Middleton. I think what the PR machine behind the royal family is trying to do is turn William and Kate into the new Meghan and Harry. They're trying to make them a bit sort of rock star-like. Kate has recently ramped up the media duties after appearing with Jill Biden and making her infamous Zoom calls with the public over the course of the pandemic. Royal correspondent for BBC News told CBS, Harry and Meghan were very, very popular and they sucked up an awful lot of the oxygen. And so, with them off the scene, there is certainly more attention paid to William and Kate. Diamond also reported on the naming of Harry and Meghan's recently born daughter, Lilibet, with him initially reporting that the happy couple asked the Queen for approval, then reports came from the palace saying that the Queen was never consulted over the naming of her great-grandchild. He added, when I first reported on it, I said, that is a mark of great love and respect. Then, I was told a slightly different story from the palace. It has not made people feel any better, I think, on either side of the Atlantic. There is now a debate surrounding the future of the monarchy as a recent YouGov poll shows that 40% of people aged 18 to 24 now say they would prefer an elected head of state. Diamond said, I don't think there's any doubt that there is debate in the palace about the future of the monarchy. He added I don't know if they're worried. They know they have no God-given right to survive. They know that they are here with the forbearance and with the support of the British people. I don't think they're terrified, but yeah, without a doubt they think about it.